Hey, what's up everyone? I'm gonna help you to not get lost on this trail. There's multiple forks that split off that are unmarked. With a few tips, it's actually pretty easy to stay on the trail. It's an awesome hike, totally fun and worth it. The day I was there, I helped a few families find their way to the cave. All right, we made it to the start of the wave trail. Wave cave trail. The drive out here was absolutely beautiful. Peralta Road, just a well-graded dirt road. Got out here in my Honda Civic, so. No problems there. It's just stunning back here. That's where we're headed. Right up there. Got my surfer hat on for the wave and shorts. So we're good to go. Had so much rain, everything's so green. We start out the hike on this old 4x4 trail, so it's not too exciting at first. But they uh, they have it fenced off because they're doing restoration to the area. So it seems like this will never be open again for vehicles. It is just so beautiful back here. I mean, check this out. When you get to this point, it can get a little confusing. Looks like that's fenced, like you can't go through. And then there's a trail going this way. That's the gold mine trail. And trail going that way. You'll actually see the marker right here. That is also the gold mine trail. But if you get closer up to the fence, you can see that there's a way through the fence. Every once in a while, there's these arrows to help guide you. There we go again. Cool, we're getting into the saguaro foresty area up here. It's beautiful. The whole hike's been so beautiful. I mean, you're staring at this gorgeous mountain the whole time, too. Superstitions. They are beautiful. make it too much clearer than that WC wave cave here's another fork in the road you're gonna to want to go to the left if you start heading down a trail over here after that fence and you don't see these arrows you might be on the wrong track you see there's another trail splitting off that way and you want to stay to the left Follow the rocks. Look at how tall these saguaros are. For reference, I'm five foot eleven. By my calculations, this one's about a hundred feet tall.
we're getting close. It's right there. Look at these views behind me. Just incredible. It's beautiful. But you come out here to do this, it's a thousand feet of elevation gain. But the thousand feet of elevation gains really in the last half or last third of the hike. There's like almost no eleva elevation gain at all at the beginning. And then once you get to the base of the mountains, you just start going up and it's all, all the elevation gains right there. like it goes to the right but it goes to the left down into the wash there's still rocks with arrows just look for them been staring at these the whole hike now we're right up on them so at one point in the scrambling, it breaks off into two different trails. I chose the one on the left. I don't know if that's the best one, but it left me just left of the wave cave to this cave. get to our actual destination the wave cave I love unexpected things like this here we are the wave cave enjoyed the video and it helps you to not get lost when you come out here to do the hike yourself hey and be sure to check out that cave just to the left of the wave cave not as impressive but still really cool and uh, less people over there and uh, please remember to leave no trace